Hello, I'm Anthony France from the Evening Standard and today we are investigating candy shops that have blighted the once thriving area of the West End. We're on Oxford Street where such shops now owe the council over £9.2 million in unpaid business rates and today we're going to find out who is behind these companies. Like my manager and like my no one is here right now. Okay. Yes, we are worker here. Yeah. Maybe you try on like Saturday, Sunday. Or okay. Maybe yeah. it's come like some evening time or like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe try your best. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who should I ask for? I like anyone. Anyone is anyone. Here, anyone. Yeah, I don't okay. Mind. Yeah. All right. Sorry thank you very much. That. Okay. Right all right. No one have you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Cheers. So the the candy shop phenomenon uh, is an example of the the state the criminal justice system has got into in the UK. The majority of them are fictitious companies with fictitious directors uh, and most have no intention of ever paying their business rates. Uh, we have seized over one and a half million pounds worth of uh, counterfeit and illegal products uh, and we are, we are owed as a council more than nine million pounds uh, in unpaid business rates. That's nine million pounds that could go into schools uh, go into hospitals and, and go into all the things this country uh, really needs. If there are evidently illegal activities taking place and it's all known about by the council, how are the shop owners getting away with it and why aren't they being arrested? It's so easy to start a company. You can start a company with less documentation than to get a library card from the city of Westminster. So as a local authority, uh, we're doing all we, all we can, uh, so we raid them regularly um, and that makes life difficult for them. Uh, and we also take them to court regularly for unpaid business rates, but as soon as you take them to court, uh, they do what's called phoenixing uh, and a company is reborn uh, with a new address and new fictitious directors uh, and they carry on trading. Westminster Council is calling for a new economic crime bill to help crack down on these loopholes. But what does the future of Oxford Street look like? I spoke to Dee Corsi, the chief executive of the new West End company, Business Group. So it's fair to say we've had our fair share of void units and candy stores, which were exacerbated due to a business rate system not being fit for purpose and of course the pandemic. However, in our recent on-street surveys, uh, our candy stores have reduced uh, by four since April, which is fantastic to hear. And also, the ones that we do have only represent 1% of retail floor space on Oxford Street. So the tide is turning. We're really seeing that change now, and we're really getting some good brands back into the West End.